Welcome back to another episode with FNS Outdoor Adventures. Hope everybody's doing good today. Today we're going to be tying to dry fly a brown ant. So, you know, you can do it black, brown, whatever color you, you wish. But we're going to start. Going to do another size 12 dry fly hook. These are really all great patterns for you know bluegill trout whatever you know grayling wherever you're fishing they work really well i am going to use black red with it i'm just going to go ahead and put it on there snip off the excess go up and back real quick down to about where the barb is all right then we're gonna get some uh some brown dubbing it's brown with a little bit of black in it just work it on through the, the thread here Go ahead and give it some spins around. Looks like about enough. I'm gonna pull off excess. Tighten that down. Then I'm gonna pull off a piece of brown hackle off of here. That one off here. I'm gonna strip the end. And then you're going to put the shiny side toward you. On your side of the hook, angle it down. Oh, come on now. Go ahead and wrap it. Come back a bit. All right, then we're going to, you know, you can use your hackle pliers if you want. Just grip it. I usually don't bother unless it's a smaller piece. And you're going to give this just a couple wraps, three. Then cinch that down. Cut off the ex excess. Finish getting that in there. So always, you always get that couple that gone forward on you. Not a big deal. All right, then we're gonna get some more of that that dubbing. And once again, just kind of twist onto your line, onto your line, onto your thread. You do it a few times. I, I haven't tied flies in several years. I'm just trying, starting to get back into it. I used to tie quite a bit and sell quite a bit. But I'm going to go ahead. See, like that. You can already tell this way, way too much. So just pull it out. And wrap it back up. Some turns around the head. And then you would whip finish here, but I don't use I don't ever whip finish either. I just do a couple wraps, pull it down, make it tight. You know, the bigger the hook, the more you want to do. This is you know, like I said, size 12 dry fly, so it's not really Big deal. Then go ahead and dab the end with your cement. I use um, you know, just clear nail polish. I don't worry about 
find any of that cement stuff. Clip off the end. And there you go. Just a beginner's dry fly ant brown. Trying to get a clear picture here for you guys. Ain't really working too well. All right, well, if you like that, uh, give it a little thumbs up, all right? And go, hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.